Hi, my name is Greg from TP Photography, uh, and today I'm going to show you how to set up GPS sync on the Sony A7R Mark III. Uh, this lets you sync the time remotely and also puts the GPS coordinates. You can see there I've just set the date to be in the future so that we can see when it works. Uh, it will work on the A7 Mark III and the A9 as well. Uh, and the menu is probably slightly different. Uh, but what we're going to do is we're going to go into the network menu here, uh, network 2 on the R3. Uh, what we're actually going to do is it's the location info link which sets that the auto time correct works. You can see there it's also auto area adjust. Uh, this all works via Bluetooth. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to turn it on on our camera. Uh, we're going to go into pairing. Uh, and then you can see my device name is Bacon 7R Mark III. Uh, we're then going to uh, go into our smartphone app. Uh, so Play Memories, uh, which is what it's saying there, made the connection. So we're going to switch over to uh, that now. And we're going to launch Play Memories. Uh, we can see their location information linkage is on. Uh, sometimes that's off, but if you turn it on, uh, then what you're going to do is you're going to pair it with the camera so you can see there it's pairing with the camera that we've got set up and that is now paired uh, so what we're going to do now is go back to our camera so we can see here we've got the bluetooth symbol and the map with a pin in the top right corner that shows us that the information is being transferred across including the coordinates uh, sometimes you'll see that pin uh, isn't there which indicates that the bluetooth connection is there but you've not got gps uh, that's what it looks like there so you see the little no entry symbol which means it's not getting the information uh, and then the information's come so that could be if your phone's inside uh, or you know or it's just not getting a gps signal so it's worth watching for that and here's what the coordinates look like on the uh, playback so you can see the coordinates there they're embedded in the files Hopefully you found that useful. Uh, obviously the app will look different on iOS uh, to it does on Android. Uh, you'll also find that the time takes a, a little while to sync across to the phone. So it's not a case if you turn it on and it syncs straight away, uh, it can take a minute or two. So uh, what I'm gonna suggest is if you turn that all on, uh, then you can do it uh, and it will sync the, the details across. Uh, and then you can turn it off after a while if you're just looking to use it to sync the time. Uh, if not, obviously you can leave it on. Uh, you can turn it on and off via the app in the camera if you want to turn Bluetooth off. Uh, and if you want to do the same in the app on the phone, uh, then that's a way you can do it there as well. Uh, I hope you found that useful and enjoy. Thanks. Bye.